What is up, people? Welcome to the video. Today we're going to look at the Animal Crossing Direct from October the 15th. I know I'm late, but I still want to make a video about it. I've already seen it, so it's not going to be a first reaction. But uh, still, I wanted to share it and just uh, give my th overall thoughts on it. So let's just look at it. Boop, there we go. Switch. Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to the Animal Crossing New Horizons Direct. Today, we'll be going over the details of the update for the Animal Crossing New Horizons game. The update is scheduled to be released on November 5th. November 5th. Awesome day. That's pretty soon. Let's take a look at the free content coming to your island. Free content. Yeah. Something's coming to the museum. So this was hinted in the Nintendo Direct before this one. So we already knew this was coming. This is The Roost, a cafe owned by the composed Brewster. Awesome. Kick back and relax while Brewster serves you up a cup of his finest pan-selected coffee. You might run into some island residents here. Awesome. Isabel's there. Mr. Nook. By using the Animal Crossing series amiibo figures and amiibo cards in the roost, you can invite characters of your choosing. Some of them may bring along company as well. Nice. Really cool to see this. Multiple players can also visit at the same time. Why not savor a relaxing cup of joe together? <laughs> Just fun, chill, have a cup of joe together. That's fun though. Look, um, I'm going to be uh, like completely honest. This is the actual first Animal Crossing I've ever played. So... Um, uh, I've 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 seen that these are returning characters, which is really really awesome. It's such uh, a really good thing to add previous characters into the game, and I've seen a lot of reactions about it, like a lot of wholesome and uh, really fun and cool reactions to um, like Brewster coming back and even more, which just adds to the community of Animal Crossing, which is really awesome. Let's continue. This is Captain. You'll Captain. find him lounging around on your island's pier. Another like one. He'll ferry you to a destination via his boat. His pride and joy. A thousand miles. Your destination is a hidden gem. This looks really awesome already. You might new plants, new stuff. Flora. And you can climb up on these vines, which is really amazing. Or an island with a different season. Or time of day. That's like a really awesome thing they did. They like you're stuck with seasons and time on your island, but when you use Captain and go somewhere else, you you they, they've taken away the limitation of seasons and time, which is really really awesome. A really good decision in my opinion, and makes it so much more. Already, this makes it so much more replayable, just by adding this feature. Hey, it's Harv's Island. As you may know, Harv runs a photography studio here. We know. And the island's undergoing some changes. Looks like Harv wants to create a plaza with all sorts of shops. With a little help from his longtime friend Harriet, Sahara <laughs> and Kix will set up shop This here. is such an awesome thing, though. Reese and Cyrus can help customize ready-made cool. furniture that you can't customize on your own. That's pretty awesome. That's really cool. Again, such a wonderful addition to the game. They've taken away the limitations of seasons and times with Captain. They also, they're also taking away limitations of waiting for people to come to your island, um, because um, uh, I've, I've I've barely seen Red on my island. I've seen Sahara a lot, but the other characters not so much. Um, I haven't played that much in in a long time as well. I've got to be honest with that, but. Um, usually when somebody's at my island, it's, it's Sahara. That's it. <laughs> That's it. So, um, using Harsh Island and making it more 
of a sort of marketplace for all the vendors that come to your island is also, again, a really awesome addition to the game. The resident representative can now enact island ordinances. Yeah. Take the. So we got island ordinance, or I can't even pronounce it, ordinances, which is really awesome. Um, we're going to show off the early bird. Um, but we also have Beautiful Island, Early Bird, Night Owl, and Bell Boom. Early Bird Ordinance, for example. This will make all island residents awake and active earlier in the morning. Pick the ordinance that best suits your island lifestyle. That's really awesome. So if you're an early bird, put on the Early Bird Ordinance and your residents will wake up earlier and be more active earlier. I'll probably go for the Night Owl. I want to see what the other two are as well, what they do, but... Probably go for the night owl because I usually am up late. I, I'm kind of wondering if that will um, um, set over to the shops and Nook's Cranny will be open a little bit later. Um, I'm just kind of wondering if that's the case. The home services offered by Tom Nook have been upgraded. Tom Nook. More exterior awesome. options are available. You that's going to be the house. <laughs> Top right. To really awesome. Landscape. Like that. Also, storage expansion services just got bigger. Previously, home storage held up to 2,400 items. 2,400. With three more expansions, it's it now holds up to such a significant 000. increase. I do wonder again. Um, it's awesome that they increase storage capacity. Such a quality of life improvement. I'm just kind of uh, scared if you have like a four to five thousand things in your in your storage. Is there going to be maybe some sort of a search function or you just have to scroll to it and hope that you find it in time or like it doesn't take too long to find something? Other than that, really, really awesome. A lot of new stuff. Cooking is coming to DIY yes. recipes. I was waiting for this. This is awesome. Combine ingredients like tomatoes. This is really cool. Wheat. Tomatoes, sugar wheat, sugar cane. Potatoes, potatoes, pumpkins, carrots, carrots. And more. That's I, I put up five fingers, six things, and even harvest. more. Really awesome. Mm, looks tasty. You looks a tasty. Sandwiches, pie, table. soups, bon beverages. So that gives you five food, which is really awesome. Decorating license, lighting yes. and ceiling decor yes. can be added to each room. <laughs> really cool. Accent walls will also be available to give really a cool. wall a different pattern. With these, more design options. Look, I've seen people be so incredibly incredibly creative with this game, but this makes it just so much more easier to be so much more creative outside of what people just come up with themselves. It's just, it's, again, awesome addition to the game. Options will be at your disposal. Plus, nine fence types, including park fencing, block fencing. Nine fence types, and nice. corrugated iron fencing. I like this one. Added, letting you diversify your island even more. Cool. Bamboo fencing, let's go. And frozen fencing. Some Looks cool. Fencing can nice. The camera app on your Nook phone is getting updated. When changing to a handheld We're camera getting mode, first person. With your Animal Crossing. We That's so cool. More Simple things that make it so much more cooler to play the game. A new Nook phone app, Island Life 101, provides tips on enjoying your island. Awesome app. If you're a newcomer, really, really good and useful app, I think. When your pockets fill up from the day's activities. <laughs> from the day's activities, just this storage shed will come in handy. Hoarding stuff. It connects to your home storage and can be placed almost anywhere on your island. That is I keep saying it in this video. That's a really awesome. They've added this. You don't have to go back to your house the entire time. You don't have to go inside your house the entire time. You can place the, the cabinet all, like on the opposite side of your house. 
like on the other side of the island and you're always close enough to your storage which is such again quality of life improvement really good so use it to easily store items or take them out looks like something's buried underground is it a fossil it's not a fossil a gyroid when you find gyroid fragments then plant and water them i'm not gonna lie this kind of confused me the first time i saw it i was like what can you do with these things have grown on your island you what can you do with gyroids after it rains it's a drumoid gyroids make rather interesting sounds experiment with different gyroid combinations or use them with music to bask in fresh harmonies not gonna lie they look fun gyroids can be don't know if i'll use them in that way atmosphere. but they look fun there's a new type of tool you can craft <laughs> You'll be able to permanently place ladders on cliffs with the ladder setup kit. Yes. You you'll see it a little bit later on, but the the, the stand like the ladders with in combination with finds makes moving around the island so much more fun. You don't have to put inclines everywhere. You don't need your ladder everywhere like the one you you take with you. You can just put these up, put the finds up, and make maybe like secret spots where you don't have an incline going up to it but you can still get up to it through a ladder or a fine really really awesome this G diy recipe can be purchased from nook's cranny and it's pretty cheap what do you think i think it's pretty awesome this new content in various ways some of them outside of what we've shown you today this free update version look that was what i'm talking about you see some different ladders though, different ladders, which is also pretty amazing. You don't have like the standard ones, but probably different. But then you go to the ladder and to the fine, and it makes going up on the island, there's an incline to the left, to, to, the, to, to the back right left of the screen. So much more fun just to move around the map. Ladders, inclines, bridges, fines. Makes it so much more natural, I kind of want to say moving around your island really today. awesome this free update version 2.0 launches november 5th free this will be the last major free content update awesome for Animal though crossing new horizons 2.0 last free major update we that's okay continue enjoying your island experience we will look it's a really awesome update. It's the last three major updates, so they're going to be probably smaller updates and smaller events that are still going to uh, like put out for free. This is the last three major update, but it it's 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 big. It's awesome. It's a lot of quality of life improvements for me personally. Uh, things I wanted in the game, and they did a like a phenomenal job by adding these uh, things especially for free though um can't wait to get back into the game again but at this point i didn't realize um that the video is going on for another 11 minutes i thought it was kind of done so i was like maybe they're gonna tease something um until i saw this i was like oh yeah they're gonna they're probably gonna tease something for like some upcoming release oh so i want to go to work man horizon. And I was like, that's it. Black screen, that's it. They're going to pop up with something saying, new stuff coming soon. I didn't expect another 11 to 10 minutes of awesomeness. Our destination is this archipelago made up of several islands. Known as a resort, this locale is popular among characters searching for their ideal vacation homes. This is Animal Crossing New Horizons. Happy home pair. Paid DLC. How awesome is that? You're getting a major, it is less, but it's still a major free update. And you get paid DLC. I don't care that it's paid because um, up to now, everything has been free. 
and this is just really really awesome paradise for example meet maple i her want maple on my island lots and lots of bears let's make her dream a reality <laughs> first select the island on which the vacation look how big this is this is really amazing it's i think about 30 plus plots where you can plant houses like vacation homes it's a lot there's going to be so much to do on this archipelago of vacation homes really really amazing home will be built each island has distinctive features yes for instance may differ from island to island that's so awesome <laughs> That's the really, island. really this cool. The request. Then head on over to the site. Once you arrive on the island, take a tour of the home. <laughs> That's so the cool. Designated furniture requested by the client. <laughs> That's a big After bear. That, recommended furniture from Paradise Planning will already be available. That's like something really cool. You, you, you need to get some stuff that they initially want, but designing the rest of the house, you have a lot of stuff already at your disposal, um, which makes it way more fun just focusing on being creative and designing a house for somebody. While you're at it, why not suggest ideas for the yard? Not only can you place furniture. I need this on my fences, island though. Plant trees. It makes it so much more easier to like design paths. yards and everything. Location and exterior awesome. can be modified too. And with the ability to modify the season, time of day, and weather. So even though you pick a somewhat seasonal type place on the island, you can still um, pick and choose seasons when you're on the the like the the home itself. And this as well, sunny, rainy, that's in perfect harmony uh, with noon, evening, whatsoever. You could just customize it all the way. Really fun, really cool. As you continue designing vacation homes, you'll acquire various well, cool design these look. techniques. For example, adjusting the size of the interior by modifying its width or length, more creative design options will become available. Yes. In addition, you can use partition walls to divide the space. This is something I've wanted for, like, ever since I started playing Animal Crossing. Just being able to partition off sections in a house in, like, a room and make it more, um, like, oh, there's a, there's, a, there's a kitchen over here, there's a living room over here, instead of going to a different room. Really, really awesome. Counters with two different heights. Counters with two different heights. And pillars That's that support the ceiling. Cool. Each can help change how the home is structured. <clears throat> Just look how how really simple but awesome feel this gives, right? It it just you have a kitchen, you have a, a dining area, you have a living room. It just gives so much more depth to a house. And as I said before, though, I've seen a lot of people being really creative with with I think bookcase and everything to make partitions themselves, but just having this uh, at your disposal really lets you focus more on being even more creative with what you build. Head back to the office to get compensated for your efforts. You're getting compensated in Pokey. sells rare furniture that may be hard to find on your island. That's pretty cool though. You can take it home with you. Being able to buy more rare stuff over here and take it to your own island a really fun addition. And you have to buy it with the pokey. As you receive more requests, more furniture will become available. Awesome. Why not visit clients you've helped out before? It might be good to suggest remodeling their vacation home with different furniture. So, also again, really fun. It, it, it just adds so much replayability to the game, right? You, you, you design a vacation home the more homes you design, the more stuff you get for designing a home. And then you can go back to a home that you've done previously and redesign it. Really, really fun. And just add so much more replayability to the game 
which makes it so much better. With your recommendation, two clients can share a vacation home. Cool. We take schools, for example. Awesome. Design one by drawing inspiration from your own memories or craft the school of your dreams instead. How cool is this, right? Other facilities, such as a restaurant, can also be developed. <laughs> Look how awesome this looks, though. A doctor. Be delighted seeing others and the facilities you've designed. it will be used. That's the biggest thing to me. Like, it's fun to design these things, but it being used is way cooler than only designing it, right? Yes, please. You can design vacation Isabel. homes for these busy individuals. Cool. The vacation homes you design for them will nice. hopefully Look how make cool them this looks. very happy. Design techniques acquired while working with a paradise planning team can be used on your island. Hell, yes. With partition walls. Uh, well, whatever you do at your job, you can take home with you and redesign your entire home with partition pillars, walls and everything. Pillars, lighting, and soundscapes. Yes. Not just the sounds case, but yes to this entire to entire DLC. And by gifting your residents a special souvenir from Paradise Planning, they may become interested in what the archipelago has to offer. They may even That's ask cool. you to design a vacation home for them. That's so cool. Having your residents go to to have you design a vacation home to them Someday, for them after you've designed a certain number of homes you might even be able to suggest home remodels to your island residents so outside of doing that on the vacation homes you can take it to your own island and redesign homes of your residents how awesome is that what do you think it's awesome. Turning every character's dream into a reality with thorough and creative <laughs> design. That's the work it's of It's really, Paradise really good. Planning. There's a spot open for you to join their team and start designing. I want the monkey on the right side. Animal Crossing New Horizons yes, so Happy cute. Home Paradise launches on November 5th. Also not on November 5th. For Animal Crossing $25. New Horizons. Also 25 euros, I think, so... Pre-orders begin October 29th on Nintendo eShop. I can't wait. Bum, 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 bum. See you on November 5th. November 5th is going to be awesome. Yes. So, that's the Animal Crossing Direct. And it is freaking amazing it adds so much more replayability to the game i th i think they are really doing an amazing job with the last free update and going even beyond that with paid dlc which um i kind of thought was going to be a little bit more expensive than 25 dollars slash euros uh i have to check it out though it's probably the same same amount in euros um it adds so much to the game like the game has already a lot going for it but just the, like the free dlc and everything in there is really awesome and then the paid dlc just adds like a, it, it feels like it adds a, a whole other game to animal crossing and um I, like you, you could technically just play this forever i guess right now without getting bored <laughs> i i hope so at least but um yeah it, it just it's really it, it looks really fun it looks really good and um i can't wait until november 5th i think this is a an amazing amazing direct and for animal crossing players this is going to be really good um i will leave a link to the complete direct because i'm probably going to cut in this video uh in the comment section down below in the description down below leave a comment with what you thought about this direct in the comment section down below right see you in the next video thanks for watching and have a good day bye bye